What's up everyone, it's Joshua here. For those of you interested in learning music theory, whether you're a music student, music educator, musician, songwriter, music composer, producer, or anything in between, this video is for you. So let's dive on in. My name is Joshua Wittrado, and I'm a performing musician and a band director. Welcome to part two of my series on music theory, where I break down the fundamentals of how to read and write music. In part one, I talk through how to identify music notes on the staff using the treble clef. This video is going to focus on how to identify music notes on the staff with the bass clef. Every new video in this series will build off of the previous one, so you're going to see some material that I talked about in part one. If the content here helps you in any way, consider sticking around so you can see how everything fits together. Just like in part one, let's start off with the staff, which contains five lines and the four spaces in between those lines. Our music notes live either on a line or in a space. The musical alphabet for our note names consists of the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then after G, we repeat back to A and go through G again, and so on. We do not use any letters from H through Z for our music notes. And we don't know where our notes go on the staff until we know what our clef is. For this video, we're going to use the bass clef. As I said before, music notes can live on lines or in spaces. This is why our clef is super important because it guides us to know where our notes live on our staff. Let's start with the lines. We have a simple phrase to help us know where our notes go. Good burritos don't fall apart. There are other phrases that music educators use, but this one is very commonly used. And it's a fun one to use because it makes a lot of sense. We take the first letter of each word, G, B, D, F, and A. Five lines, five letters. Now let's plug in our notes from the bottom line, moving up to the top line. We see that our notes are in the same order from the bottom to the top. Now let's move on to the spaces. We have four spaces in between our five lines, and we have another phrase that we use to know where these notes go. All cows eat grass. Again, we take the first letter of each word, A, C, E, and G. In the same way we labeled the notes on our lines, we're going to plug in our space notes, starting from the bottom space and moving up. Looking at the notes this way gives us an understanding of our lines and our spaces separately. But when we blend them together, we notice a pattern. I mentioned earlier in this video that the musical alphabet goes from A through G and then repeats back to A through G and so on. Starting from the bottom line, we have G. When we move up to the very next space, we go right back to A and the notes continue to move alphabetically from line to space all the way up. With that in mind, when we move down the staff, the notes move in reverse alphabetical order from line to space from the top to the bottom. To wrap this video up, let's review from the beginning. Our staff is made up of five lines and four spaces, and the musical alphabet contains the letters A through G. When there is a bass clef on the staff, we use the phrase, good burritos don't fall apart, to identify the notes on the lines, and we use the phrase, all cows eat grass, to identify the notes in the spaces. The notes move forward alphabetically going up the staff, and they move reverse alphabetically going down the staff. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, or if it was helpful to you, be sure to hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it, and it really helps to get the video out there for more people to see it and learn from it as well. Comment down below, what phrases do you use to remember the notes on the lines and the spaces? I know there are a bunch of them out there, and I would love to hear what you use. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for future videos, whether they fit within this music theory bubble, or if they're just about music in general. If you want to see more videos, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell icon so you don't miss any future content from me. I'll also have a link to this music theory playlist in the description down below, so you can check that out there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.